I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. We just built this Versa 2 RV carport to store our vintage travel trailer under and to have it for a larger RV if we ever need it. The RV carport works great, but I wanted a little more protection from the elements, so we decided to add some additional metal panels on the sides of the structure. Here's how we did it. We already have the first course of side panels installed on the eaves of the building. To start the second course at the same end of the building, all you do is insert the underlap edge of the panels under the overlap edge of the panels from the first course. Attach the panels using the same self-tapping screws as you did in the first course of panels. Remember to leave the screws out of the lower edge so you can insert the next course of panels. Continue installing panels until you get to the last course at the bottom of the sidewall. You will probably need to cut the last course of panels to fit. To do this, take a measurement from the center of the lower edge of the bottom of the base rail. Subtract about one eighth of an inch from that measurement. Now mark the lower panel on the underside of the panel. Cut the length of the panel using a circular saw with a metal cutting blade. The good side of the panel should be facing down when you make the cut. Make sure you're wearing eye and ear protection when you cut the panels. We added some corner trim on the structure to give it a nice finished look. Now you have a lot more protection from the elements for whatever's stored under the RV carport and you can still drive through the structure. To learn more about RV carports or to find your next DIY metal building project, visit Versatube.com.